Hi there, my name's Fran Sands. This is myboxingcoach.com. In this video, I want to have a little look at the one two, the old one two, and um, more specifically, I want to, want to try and help you think about some variations that you can use for the one two. Now, let me start by saying what this video isn't. This video is not something to say the one two is old hat. You know, forget about it. It's it's not something that's effective. It's not something that you need to know. Um, I couldn't be more wrong. If I started this video by telling you the one two is ineffective and you should look for ways to constantly change it, then uh, I would be wrong. There is no doubt about that. The one two is an incredibly effective um, combination. It's the old one two. It's referred to as. It's been around for since boxing began. And it's not going anywhere. It's vital that you understand how to throw a good one too. Um, below the video, there's links to, and, and the one two is effectively, let's, let's think about what it is. It's a jab, and it's a straight right hand. One, two, one, two. Same from side on, one, two, one, two. Okay, we maximize the length of the jab, the good hip rotation, and same. We maximize the, the length and the power of the backhand, again with drive from the back foot and hip rotation. Let's see, videos below, have a look at the jab and the straight backhand. So the one two is fantastic. You should throw lots of them in every situation, whether it's on the bag or whether it's in the, in the ring, in competition, sparring, it should form an awful lot of your, your your overall boxing style. And by the way, regardless of how tall or short you are, it's amazing how many emails and questions I get saying, I'm this height, I'm quite short, how do I need to box? You need to box well. I don't care whether you're short or tall, it's irrelevant. You may have to do things very slightly different, but great boxing is great boxing. There's no reason why the one-two shouldn't be more effective for a short guy as it should be for a tall guy, okay? Make sure you understand that. Don't send me emails sort of asking me to use a crystal ball to, to come up with better ways for you to fight just because you might be a bit shorter than most. Um, okay, let's get on to it. Now, what, what I'm going to do is just get you to think about... It's all long-range work. So rather than just think about the jab and the right cross. I want you to think about the long range hooks and the long range uppercuts. Videos of which are on the site. There'll be links down below in the article to take you to those videos for you to have a look. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about the, the, the methods of those punches. Go and have a look yourself. Okay. Let's start with the jab. Okay. So there's our jab. Okay. Nice straight angle, straight down the pipe, straight to a to the target. Let's think of a couple of different ways of throwing that. So we could use, instead of the jab right hand, we could use the long range left hook and right hand. Long range left hook, right hand. So it's boom, boom, straight out. Same that way. And that's about taking a different angle into the target area. Let's think also about the long range left uppercut. Some people call this the up jab. Please yourself, you know, the, the, the mechanism of the punch is the same. So it's one, two, one, two. Okay, the shot comes up under the chin, lifts the head up for the straight right hand. That's why I particularly like that one. Because it comes in at that angle, lifts the opponent's head up ready for the straight right hand. Okay, so there's two. One, two, one, two. Flip it, okay? Keep your jab the same. And throw the long range right hook instead of the right cross, instead of the straight right. So it's one, two, one, two, okay? There's the straight right hand, there's the long range right hook. Okay. Same again with the uppercut. One, two. 
button two button two all at long range all taking slightly different approaches to the shot coming in then of course you can use mix it all up don't use any straight shots don't use the jab don't use the straight backhand long range left hook long range right hook excuse me tongue twister again one two using slightly different angles into the target one two same again slightly different angles one two am i getting the point across the variations are endless don't just fall into the habit of just using the one two over and over again think about your long range boxing and think about what other angles of shots you can get into the target one more thing just to really mix it up just to really give you a, a something special in the box to pull out and to and to deploy whenever you you feel the need think about the screw shot again there's a there's a link to an article down below i think the article title is how to land more punches obviously you can see i was up for for nights on end coming up with the title for that one um but think about the screw shot so you can have the jab screw shot one two one two one two don't fall into the habit as brilliant a combination as the one two is don't fall into the habit of just throwing it over and over and over again without variation one more thing i've started with the lead hand on all of them or we started with the left don't forget there's no reason why you shouldn't start with the backhand as well okay i hope that that's getting you thinking about the potential for all the various kinds of um, combinations that you can use two punch combinations that you can use to really liven up and give your long range boxing a really dynamic angle okay what i'm going to do now is do a two minute round on the bag for you trying to bring in some of those elements so that you can see it at something like competition speed my fitness is not what it should be at the moment so if you can hold back on all of the god you're really blown for tugs there um, i haven't been as meticulous about my training over recent weeks probably because of the lovely weather we're having in the uk here at the moment um, so don't expect uh, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard in his, in his finest, okay? I'm trying to do it to just be, uh, to give you an indicator of the kinds of things that you can do um, to make your long range boxing a bit more dynamic and to bring in a whole host of other potential two punch combinations that you can use alongside your one two. I'd like to put a number to it, but I don't know how many combinations you can make out of it. I'm sure some of you guys out there can can come up with the number okay uh, into the two round boxing of, of, of bag work and I look forward to hearing your views and comments cheers